Hello guys, welcome to Tea Up's podcast series. I am Vinay Pedinti and I am going to be your host for today. Our guest for today is from the land of anime. She is Minori from the Suzuki's Innovation Center in India. Hello Minori, welcome to Tea Up. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Minori, before we jump into the topic of today, uh, we, our audience would like to know more about you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Minori Yokoi. Um, I'm from Suzuki Motor Corporation and I'm engaging in a project of Suzuki Innovation Center, uh, which is running by IIT Hyderabad. And for Suzuki Innovation Center, we are focusing on three pillars, engage and exchange and innovate. And for engage, uh, we are giving making a touch point between Japan and India in terms of like related to academia, industry and startups. And uh, for exchange, uh, we would like to get more closer connections, more, more than engage activities, and enhance the entrepreneurships of uh, Japan-India firms of industry, academia, and startups. And um, Innovate is an activity f- uh, mainly focused on rural innovations and getting much more uh, life uh, better for its citizens India 2.0 and 2.0. 3.0. So these are the focusing activities of Suzuki Innovation Center, uh, which is coming from the three pillars, engage and exchange and innovate. I'm focusing on exchange activities and in, under the umbrella of exchange activities, I'm doing Learn in Baharat program and Learn in Nippon program. And I'm facilitating these, uh, I'm planning these program details and also facilitating this uh, those two projects. That's nice. Uh, we would like to know more about Learn in Bharat and Learn, Learn in Nippon program. Uh, what is Learn in Nippon program? Uh, what is the backstory behind it? So, Learn in Nippon program is uh, we take um, IIT and IIM students, total around 20 students, to Japan, interested in Japan, and moreover, like working in Japanese company in a future career. And uh, the backstory behind this is like Suzuki Innovation Center's goal is to be like a hub between Japan and India. And we were not doing such kind of activities at that time. So I thought like um, human resource exchange and um, career development of both nations is important. So um, I thought this continued like programs will like help supporting the human resource development. Nice. How long is this program? Uh, Learning Nippon is uh, eight days program and Learning Bahara is 10 days program. Are you so strict about the eligibility criteria? Can someone like me be part of it? <laughs> Unfortunately, um, no for Vinay. Uh, so the eligibility of Learning Nippon is uh, students belonging to India universities. And uh, for eligibility for Learning Bahara, participants consist of two parts. Like one is a Japanese student, university students, and another one is employee from Japanese company. So within eight days, can you can you get us a little deeper into what all the activities that these participants do in those eight days in Japan? So for in eight days, I think it's still short to explain like understand about overall Japan but they go to like first Tokyo and they get inter- like interaction with embassy of India Japan and also visiting universities at Japan so on um, this coming um, learning Nippon program which is gonna be held at end of March uh, we are taking them to um, Sasino University, which is um, promoting entrepreneurship in Japan. Director of Sasino University Entrepreneurship Department is uh, who has an experience working at Yahoo Japan. Uh, his name is Yoichi Ito. So uh, we are visiting to those kind of like uh, universities. And uh, also more over like we will also visit to Suzuki Motor Corporation and man, like a manufacturing process, looking for the manufacturing process, Suzuki Museum, and some sessions from uh, Suzuki Motor Corporation management. Yeah. That's nice. Um, I'm a little curious about what the experiences have been 
for people who are part of the LIN program. Can you pick one uh, such experience and take us through what, what it has been for them? One of the experience that I felt like is um, not like many students are like having uh, experience going to Japan. They have been to European countries like US, UK, but never like uh, visited to Japan and they have their own perspective that uh, Japan is a very clean country, working hard or like uh, very uh, producing manufacturing uh, high products something blah 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 like that but um, once they join under the LIN program um, they know about uh, how close the Japanese employee and the Japanese management are and also they know about the real working culture. They're not actually working too hard. And um, how sincere, um, I don't know if this is the appropriate word, but um, how sincere the Japanese are. Like uh, one of the students have lost their uh, wallet at the subway, but um, yeah, and the passengers who were in the same train who were giving back to him, he, he. Him. So that was the like heartfelt experience that he has experienced. So yeah, that's nice. That that brings me to this part where I would really want to know in your experiences what kind of similarities do you find between Japanese culture and Indian culture? So similarities. Um, I feel like uh, both nation like country like they are like willing to more like um, active uh, how can I say yeah passive active active to help each others and yeah like someone who are um, like like I think um, they are more um, they have no barriers being friends I also feel we are all connected to families. Mm -hmm. so yes. Japanese culture. Uh, you're so connected to the family, Indians. We, we you know, still today, in the rural parts of India, we still have joint families. Families yes. larger than five, six people living, living under the same roof, uh, doing different occupations. I think that is one of the similarities that... Uh, yes, I feel us. like Indian people are more connected. Yes, they, you know... Um, for example, one of the employee who is working in Japan, they call to uh, he he actually called to his mom every day, every night for twenty minutes. Like in Japan, it doesn't happen. <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but it happens sometimes. But like they're very much connected, and I think this is very good point of India, and I really love it. That's nice. So let's jump into Learn in Bharat program. I know for a fact that it is a 10 days program and um, you know it's very difficult to just cover Hyderabad in 10 days. Uh, so how are you able to cover Delhi, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad and Bangalore in 10 days? What is the experience that um, the people from Japan generally have as part of the Learn in Bharat program? It's a for, uh, 10 days program. Uh, visiting four cities and uh, coming to Delhi part uh, so the, there's a lecture from the company who are doing successful business in India and um, the Learning Bharat participants are like very surprised like because um, they thought like they are thinking that they doing business in India is a very hard thing to achieve. But um, there are a lot of like the Japanese company who are based in especially in Delhi, compared to Hyderabad, there are more com companies who are based in Delhi. So uh, they're closely connected to the local life and local community. And um, yes, and also the local gov government. So I think this was the mindset exchange, or the mindset change was the most um, thing that LIB participants yeah uh, get like feel before before and after coming to India. Oh, so what are those activities that they do when they are in Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Hyderabad? 
Oh yes, I was just talking about Delhi part. Uh, so um, in Ahmedabad, uh, Suzuki Motor Corporation has a close connection between um, I I am Ahmedabad, and of course I am Ahmedabad is famous for innovations, and um, they give like a, you know share the knowledge. What is the innovations comes like um, comes from Ahmedabad, and also there's uh, like grassroots. Uh, innovations like uh, very um, I'm, I don't know I'm not sure this is the correct word but the thinking jugard mm. uh, is yeah one of the yeah big uh, like impact series <laughs> done in uh, I am uh, Medabad and for coming to Hyderabad uh, Suzuki Innovation Center is running by IIT Hyderabad uh, so we got a like we uh, set a group discussion with IIT Hyderabad students and then Japanese stu students, especially Japanese students, were very surprised like how they talk and how they present. They present a lot of, uh, you know, kind of like a topic of carbon neutralities or uh, mobilities. They talk a lot. So Japanese are some kind of like very hesitate to speak and share his or her um, experience or values in English. So um, in that sense, um, LIB participants were very like surprised. And uh, coming to Bangalore part, uh, Bangalore is yeah um, also the startup hub. Uh, of course, Hyderabad is, but um, Bangalore is also the startup hub. Uh, uh, like in India, so um, they knew they learn about the entrepreneurship, and um, so there was some session from the IT company who are based in Bangalore, share their his experience that uh, why they why he start business in Bangalore and why he uh, start his own startup. And it was like a very, you know, um, like, a, how can I say? There was no reason. Like, he thought, like, there was a lot of garbage in the street. So then he, to, like, built a startup that is collecting uh, garbage using AI. So it's like the hurdle or the barrier uh, of doing something new, starting new activity is not so high compared to Japan. LIB participants were like after joining this LIB program, they wanted they felt like they can do their own business or they can do new activities. Do they, do they get to eat biryani in Hyderabad? Yes, of course. Why <laughs> not? We cannot skip what, that. What are those things that you enjoy doing in Hyderabad? So yes, so uh, they went to the shopping mall, and um, of course they went to Golconda for and. But, but the shopping mall was interesting because uh, they can understand what kind of like products is well sold, like well sold. Yes, yes. That's nice. Uh, at T Hub, I run several innovation programs with corporates, uh, and I also head several international programs. There's several challenges that we face day in and day out, right from your stakeholder management to deadlines to expectations and so on. Can you talk about some of these experiences uh, as, as a program manager that you face when you run LIB and LIL? Yes, uh, so yes, stakeholder management is also one of the challenge and also the team management and expectation alignment. Yes, those three are like the challenges. Stakeholder management, there are uncertain like issue happens in last one minute. So uh, we have not only like thinking option A, we also have to think option B or C as well. And for the team management, uh, so Suzuki Innovation Center member consists with 20 members, but uh, some of the members are engaged, like focusing on like not like every members are focusing on their eat, on their activities. So during this learning Baharat or learning Nippon program, I want them to also you know be engaged in this program and then uh, be in the same goal and to achieve uh, the goal. 
So kind of like a team management was also the one of the challenges. And uh, yeah, and expectation alignment. So some of the participants from uh, LIB or LIN, they are like very much willing uh, to the program. Uh, so it means sometimes um, they get too much high like expectations to the program. So <laughs> something cannot be done during the program. For example, he or she said like uh, visiting Kyoto, Tokyo and like, like uh, Makihabara, Hokkaido, Nara, like four, like five or six cities. It's like um, it was not able to do that. Uh, so kind of like expect, uh, expectation alignment was also one of the challenge. Do you charge for these programs? Yes, uh, we do charge, and for um, LIN, yes, it's fully sponsored by Suzuki Motor Corporation, and for LIB, we charge, uh, but for students, we'll have um, students discount, and not we don't take extra charges to the Japanese companies, so it's we don't like make a profit under these two programs. How can someone apply for these programs? So, um, before like conducting these programs, like two months or three months before, uh, uh, we Suzuki Innovation Center will announce through the SNS. So there is an application format. So just fill out the application forms. So guys, keep looking out for that. <laughs> Only for Indian students, for LIN, and for LIB, Japanese corporates and students. That's nice. Minori, uh, community engagement is crucial for success of any project. Uh, so do you, as part of both LIN and LIB, do you engage these participants in local communities? Yes, definitely, uh, we do. Uh, so, for example, in, in Baharat program, uh, we went to the village in Ahmedabad and we connected to the villagers in Ahmedabad, which is like uh, 100 kilometers far from the Ahmedabad city. And um, they did an interview with um, the villagers at I Ahmedabad and so like uh, for LIB students or like participants LIB participants it's not like easy to come to India and then go to the village in India so SIC is supporting to connect to the local communities and coming to LIN yes uh, so not only like visiting to the corporates, uh, but also some, like, they can explore by themselves, by, for example, like, um, going to Tokyo. They can search in the internet what they are interested in, and also, like, they can explore by themselves. I, so we gave a free time to explore the Japanese cultural experience, maybe the nightlife in Japan. <laughs> so that kind of, like, uh, freedom how can I say, like freedom and also connecting to the local community is one of the role of Suzuki Innovation Center. That's nice. What has been the feedback from participants, uh, especially in the Learn in Bharat program? So for Learn in Bharat program, they were very satisfied in uh, like visiting to the village part of India because the villagers' life is... A little bit different from um, maybe their urban city life, and how you know um, they do running their bit their own business, and also they were surprised because um, the villagers, uh, they like villagers were having a smartphone and paying by UPI. <laughs> so the digitalization, rapid digitalization in India, they were very much surprised about it. No wonder. We, we enjoy our, our cashless economy. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so what, what's the feedback from students in India when they go to Japan? What do you often hear from them? So... um. They they said like Japan is like Japanese are heartfelt like peoples, and also uh, they get more interested in working in Japanese company, 
And uh, before joining these LIN programs, they look more European countries or uh, yes, US or like they're thinking working in India because they have their own family. But uh, they think after joining this LIN program, they think uh, yeah, they uh, he get he or she gets more confidence working in Japan. That's nice. So what are those elements that you really would want to pick from your previous cohorts of these programs and incorporate in the next batch of uh, LIN? So I'm thinking like to create alumni of those like programs, LIN alumni and LIN alumni, and then uh, get connected with LIB and LIN. So alumni is that we can do like period, like, uh, information sharing periodically and some of the um, LIN students might want like want to connect with LIB alumni so we SIC will provide such a community that easily they can discuss about discuss not like not discuss but not sharing their values uh, and doing some business together maybe yeah that's nice What's your vision for these programs uh, in the future? In future, um, I want um, Japanese to get interested in India and Indian people get interested in Japan. That's nice. That's a big vision. Uh, personally, how do you feel when you are part of helping two nations bond together? What's your personal experience has been in this entire journey? Yes. I'm very much fulfilled, like very much satisfied, but uh, yes, I'm very much satisfied, uh, uh, like engaging and be part of these programs. And uh, I get like satisfied when the participants' mindsets change before and after joining the program. Before we conclude, can you tell our audience, uh, you know, more about this, this program and why should they apply? Yes. Uh, so... LIN program is a very like uh, intense program that we can explore Japan and get interested in Japan. So those who are like interested in working in Japan, please be free to join this. Uh, free, feel free to apply to this program, and all the information will be shared at Suzuki Innovation C uh, Center SNS. So please have a check in it. Thank you. That's nice. T-Hub and Suzuki Innovation Center has, has a long relationship where T-Hub has, has an extended support to, to the Seed Innovation Bootcamp for entrepreneurs and Grassroot Innovation Pilot Program for rural innovators. Um, how, how do you see this, this partnership expanding into uh, several horizons in the future? Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you for your huge support. Um, this because of the T Hub support, uh, we could expand. You know, getting more uh, fruitful program such as Seed Innovation Bootcamp and the Grassroots Innovation Pilot Project. So, uh, in various perspective, not only like human to human connect, connect, but also like rural innovation perspective. Sometimes like. Uh, uh, enhancing entrepreneurship, startup collaborations. We want to do much more like close collaboration for them all. Before we wrap up, Minori, do you have something to share with our audience? People who are watching this podcast, please follow Suzuki Innovation Center SNS. And also Learn in Nippon and Learn in Bahar is a very intensive program. So feel free to apply this program. I'll we are waiting for your application. Thank you, Minori. Thank you for joining us today. I had a great time learning about all the initiatives of Suzuki Innovation Center here in India. Uh, guys, this is the time where you apply for the Learn in Bharat and Learn in Nippon initiatives by Suzuki Innovation Center. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you.